What up guys, today we are not in my kitchen, but outside in my beautiful backyard and we're gonna be microwaving this. I don't know what happens, I remember vaguely as a child, there was a video, if you microwave this, something happens to it, so let's just go do it. Come on. Okay, before we get started, we have to make sure that this microwave, you can see through it. So I'm gonna make some modifications here, simple ones, you know. Don't try this at home. Oh, this is like metal, I thought this was plastic. Oh. Uh, okay, so I got tweezers and some protection. We'll go in. Oh, here we go. Okay. See what it looks like. What? What? <laughs> wow! <laughs> it's like so miniature now. Look at this. It's like the. Ah, oh, it's hot. It's warm. Look at the dragon can eat it. Yummy. Yummy. <laughs> what is that now? It's like not even real anymore. Wow, this is crazy. Look at. Oh my gosh, it is like. Way too small now, holy crap, it got super tiny, really fast, holy crap, okay wait, let me try one more time, let me get another bag. Test number two. Second test, here we go, the GoPro like freaked out the first time, so I don't know if I even have footage for the first one, but um, this time we have the it in here, let's see what happens, and start. Okay, the GoPro is once again frozen, so I think the radiation or the microwave is like hurting the GoPro. Look, it's stuck at 320, and something did happen to it, but according to the GoPro, nothing happened. Wow. So, oh yeah, I turned off the GoPro. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dang it. Okay. Experiment. So, yeah, I think it's affecting it for sure, but we can look at the bag and see if it's any smaller right now. Oh wow. It's a little bit small. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just, uh, maybe we can just look through this hole. <laughs> can you look through that hole? Yeah. Nothing's happening. It's just shrinking. It's not focusing. What the heck? <laughs> okay. Wow. Wait, it's not focusing now. What? No way. Is this messing up all cameras? Whoa. What? Wait. Wow, okay, so. Oh yeah, it's good now. What the heck? What? So this was supposed to be a test of our mini hot Cheetos, but we ended up testing microwaves and cameras and finding out that if you microwave things and your camera's near it, it's like gonna affect the focus. Like we couldn't even focus the camera. It shut down our GoPro. Uh, so, <laughs> but look at this. Look how small this is. Oh my gosh, look how small. Look how small this is. Look, these are two, they were this big, but now they're this big. And uh, so we learned a few things today that if you microwave a bag, they turn this small and also it affects cameras, so don't microwave near your cameras. Okay, okay, capiche, look at this, look at this, look at this. Look, you could give this to your little baby now, be like a little baby bag of hot Cheetos, give this to your other little baby. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching this experiment today. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m. for another new video. Peace. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my kitchen. Today, we're gonna be making something I can eat. Today we're gonna be making Jello Fruit Loops. Let's get to it. You want to start out by putting some red colored jello in. It could be raspberry or cherry. I used two bags of red jello. Put it into hot, boiling hot water. Be careful though, it's hot. Then I put about 15 packs of unflavored gelatin in there just to make it hard and keep it stable. And then you mix it and mix it and mix it all around. Mix it, mix it, mix it all around. Mix it, mix it, mix it all around.